Hey guys, I am back again today with another video and I'm pretty excited because we have two treats that we're gonna make. Not just one, but two. But we've got a pumpkin bread that we're gonna do because everybody loved the banana bread so I wanted to try um, something different so I decided why not pumpkin because it's spooky season. And y'all, this next recipe that I got is so papilla chips and oh, they are fabulous. So y'all stick around and we'll see how they turn out. It's not a game, it's a red stick. All right, y'all, y'all go ahead, get that oven turned on, put it on 350, uh, not a temperature lower, not a temperature higher. And you're also gonna make sure you butter that pan. This is what it's gonna look like. Ooh, that's satisfying. Ooh. All right, y'all, after y'all throw that salt in there to cast them demons out, you're gonna throw in the pumpkin spice behind it. And ooh, does this smell good. Y'all take a smell. I told you it smells divine. All right. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just go ahead and whisk all of this together. All right, y'all, here is our bread mix. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna pour it down into our grease pan. Y'all make sure y'all's pan looks like this. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm happy. Get something to scrape this all out with. All right, y'all, we got our 
bread mix in our loaf pan and we're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour and just let it get all cooked up. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at this pumpkin bread. I'm shook. Oh my, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I put the toothpick in it and it came out clean. So that means that it's done, y'all. So let's take this bad boy out and cut into her. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so good, y'all. Let's, let's cut her open and see. Yes, child. Look at that. Mm. I gotta take a bite of it. I gotta see how it tastes. It's like fall in your mouth, like for real. Oh my gosh. Look, take a bite. All right, y'all, we got this bread done. It's tasty. I think we're ready to move on to the sopapilla chips. All right, y'all, let's do these sopapilla chips. So first you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350. Then you'll get a baking sheet and you'll just line it with tin foil. You can do parchment paper, anything you want. It just pop by itself. Let's get this bad boy rolled out. All right, y'all, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just mush them together because they need to be all one piece. All right, y'all, now that I've cut, got them cut out, we're gonna add some pizzazz to them. We've got some butter right here that we're gonna melt and brush on top of them. And then this right here is some cinnamon and sugar and it's mixed up together. And after the butter is brushed on the sopapilla, we are gonna sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar all over it. And we gotta be generous about it. We can't just put a little bit on there cause what's the point in that? So. Let's do it, y'all. I think we should do 15 seconds. Oh, y'all, we need to do about 15 more.
brush, they should look a little something like this. All right, so let's sprinkle them now. So I'm just gonna take some and, and I'm gonna sprinkle them. y'all I think I was pretty generous I can barely see the dough anymore um, but we're gonna put these in the oven and we're gonna let them bake for about nine minutes so we will be right back y'all y'all should have already known I was gonna be eating one oh they're so good they're tasty I was a little unsure about how they were gonna turn out with being the rolled crescent dough but y'all, child, they were so good. I enjoyed it, as well as the pumpkin bread too. Both just turned out really good today. I've already given half of the loaf to my neighbor and they loved it. She has already called telling me that they love it. So, but thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you'll give it a like and give me a subscribe and I'll bring you some more videos soon.